It's not a sight you see every day, snow falling during a hot December afternoon in the streets of Fremantle. But this is the annual Fremantle Long Table Dinner, a sellout Christmas charity event which stretches over an impressive three blocks of High Street. Well, this is our second year. We did the first one we did last year um, was for 300 people, and obviously it was very successful because it's gone out of control this year. As the sun sets over Fremantle, hundreds of guests sit down to enjoy a traditional Christmas feast in a heritage city. From humble beginnings, the Frio Long Table Dinner is enjoying a surge in popularity. 800 people here sitting at the tables, and there's probably another one or two thousand milling around uh, going in the shops that have stayed open and um, enjoying the entertainment that's on. In typical Fremantle style, it's a windy afternoon, but that doesn't dampen the mood. To entertain the guests, dancers, performers, singers, and flamethrowers do their stuff on the streets. Even Santa makes an appearance. It's a day out that takes months of planning and more than a hundred volunteers. Run by the city's oldest pub, the National Hotel, and the Fremantle Business Improvement District, all the proceeds go to St Patrick's Community Centre, a charity that helps people who are disadvantaged or at risk of homelessness. Carl says the three-course dinner has raised close to $100,000 so far, and he's determined to make sure it gets bigger and better every year. It's a very unique event, showcasing the best street in Fremantle, in my humble opinion. Um, and it's just that atmosphere that's generated, really. 